Good evening, wrestling fans. Welcome to Evolution of Pro Wrestling. I am the Encyclopedia of Pro Wrestling, Louis Bosa. And I'm Jay, the Wiz Kid of Pro Wrestling. Ha! Excellent introduction. Happy two year anniversary. Two years, two. wrestling fans. We made it. We, we are we are happy to announce we made it. This is our we second came year. A long way. Yes, a and, and, and we're gonna way. keep going. We're oh, gonna yeah. we're gonna keep going until we can't go no more. Wrestling fans, today we celebrate our two year anniversary special show with a unique tournament. Oh yeah. And what tournament you say? A thirty two team, sixty four man. Into promotional tag team title tournament, Jaden. Wow. Oh man, this is gonna be. I mean, look, look, look at all the matches going on. Like this is gonna we be have teams from the past, present, and future. And these matches. Oh man. Like you cannot get any better than these matches. And then the stipulations of the wheel of evolution. Jaden, you know the Wheel of Evolution has decided the outcome in many matches. This wheel sitting right here, these stipulations in this wheel, just one word for that. Oof. Bloody. Just. Who? Yeah. See, see, Christopher Brown is already ready. He said, so who are the first victims? <laughs> Laughing out loud. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. We, we but, come um, in there. We get in there. It's, uh, guys, before we go any further, um, we would like to thank you. From the bottom of our heart, of our hearts, for being fans of our show, bring um, oh. allowing us into your home, allowing us into your Facebook feed, and allowing us to entertain you with the topics that me and my son, my partner, have, and with the genius mind of my producer and director, my lovely wife Yesenia. Thank you, honey. It's been a uh, great two years that you've helped us, and um, and we are on our like page. Please feel free to share our like page. Bring everybody in and let's celebrate this uh, two-year anniversary with a bang. Oh, yeah. So, Jaden, you're going to go through column one of the tag team matches. While you're doing that, we'll be sharing with our fans. So, as you see, we have this nice-looking column over here full of tag teams ready to go. Excuse me. Sorry. Anyway, first matchup. He just had a sandwich. We got. <laughs> it was a good sandwich. Anyway, we had <clears throat> the Rock and Roll Express against Beer Money. Second match is the Midnight Express against Edge and Christian. Ooh. Other, the third match is FTR against the FTR. I read that right. Against the Strike Force. Ooh. Fourth match is the Heart Foundation against the British Bulldogs. Oh. Five match. Fifth match. Is the Hardy Boys against the Steiner Brothers? Okay, okay. The sixth match is the G O D. What is the God? The Gorillas of the, Destiny. The Gorillas of Destiny against the Samoan SWAT team. Then we have the Young Bucks against the Briscoes, and finally the Brain the Brain Busters versus Money. Incorporated. Ooh, excellent matches. Excellent matches. Lisa Daniel, how you doing, brother? Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Hey, we, um, got a, we got a packed house. We got a, right we now. got in a packed I house. See, I see the people. Yeah, we, right see, now. The we, people we see the people looking. We see the people looking. And now, let's get to column two. The Nasty Boys from Nastyville against the Dudley Boys from Dudleyville. Bruiser Brody and Stan Hansen against Professor Tori Tanaka and Mr. Fuji. The Usos against the Wild Samoans. Blood against blood. The Legion of Doom, the Road Warriors, against the Rock and Sock Connection. Demolition against Harlem Heat. The Outsiders against the Brothers of Destruction. The Freebirds against the New Day with Freebirds rule, which means any, any one of those three can become a tag team. And the Colossal Connection against Doom. Doom. Oh, my God. I got goosebumps saying all these tag teams. Man. Like, which, which wreck is your favorite, Dad? Wreck? Which one? I can't. I can't decide. Like, it, it's, it's a good wreck. It is. Like, it's, I can't decide who's going to win. But, Jaden, 
we definitely can decide the first match. So, Jaden, which is the first match? We got Rock and Roll Express against Beer Money. Money, Beer Money. Jaden, let's get the wheel of evolution. Here are the stipulations that we have that we're gonna name. We have Satan structure. We'll get it. Which we'll means get into that. Well, let's let's okay. Let's say that for it, and then once we oh. get it, if it gets picked, then we'll explain it. Okay. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna explain any of these. That's right. Let's let's keep them let's in keep suspense. Go, yeah. So, okay. Jaden, spin the wheel for our first match. Gotta give him a good spin. It is a tag team dog collar match. What? But the dog collar is a chain. A pure Oof. chain. Oof. A chain. Dog collar is a chain. Oof. That. Wrestling fans. Oh, give, man. Give us your thoughts on that. Come on. A, a chain, a dog collar chain match. Rock and Roll Express and Beer Money. Give us your thoughts. Oh, Who man. will be winning this first match? What do you think, Dad? Uh, this is tough to decide. <laughs> This is really wow. tough to decide. Oh like my that, that, good, good, like don't get me wrong. The Rock and Roll Express, they're they're high flying tag team. You know they 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 like the showing off. They but like to do whatever. Honestly, but they're that, excellent tag team. That's not gonna slide in a dog but, collar match. Though. No, but that's what I, that's what I'm saying. Because beer money with James collar. Storm and Robert Rude, Bobby Rude, those two when they were in beer money, they pretty much took out half of the tag team division when they were at. You know, so oh, man. Yes, what so. would your pick be in this match? Honestly, I would have to go with beer money. Okay. To be honest, because and the specific reason for that is because you know, like you said, the Rock and Roll Express are known for high flying, but they can't do that in this match because this is a dog collar match. Mm -hmm. So you're strapped to a dog collar with your opponent. Exactly. You can't really. You can try high flying, but if your opponent yanks well, the dog collar, exactly. it's well, over. Uh, well, remember the dog co dog collar match is one of the most dangerous matches in exactly. professional wrestling. You know, exactly. remember when Greg the Hammer Valentine and Roddy Piper fought, and and Roddy Piper's ear was busted, like his eardrum was blown because of that match. So I actually have to go with Beer Money too. You know, you know don't get me wrong. I'm old school to up um, to the end, but. In this particular match, I got to give it to Beer Money because of the intensity they would bring to this type of match. And that's a clean sweep right there. Yeah. So, Jaden, do us the honor of writing the first team into the next bracket. Beer Money. All right, so we got our first team that advances into the next round of the tournament. <laughs> yes, we do. We got the second team. Going yes. Into the tournament. Okay, so now, Jaden, the next match will be. Actually, let, let's start on this bracket now. The Nasty Boys from Nastyville against the Dudley Boys. Team 3D from, from Dudley the Dudleyville. Dudleyville. But. What will the wheel of evolution determine the match? Who? Wow, card. Oh. We, Jaden, decide the stipulation. Mm. Okay, so we got a stipulation, Jaden. Name that wild card stipulation. The stipulation that we came up with is a barbed wire burning tables match oh. where there's barbed wire and the tables on fire. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Brutal. Ooh. A barb I'm gonna repeat it one more time. A barbed wire burning tables match. Ooh. Surrounded by burning tables with barbed wire. Damn. Man. Woo. That's 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 uh -uh. painful. That's brutal. Oh man. That's very brutal. This is tough to call, Jaden. The Dully Boys and, and, and the Nasty Boys. I'm gonna be like, honest. 
I'm gonna go with the Dudley Boys. I got my pick. I'm gonna go with the Dudley Boys. I'm gonna stick with that. Hmm. I'm gonna go with the Dudleys. You know what? And I say that because that's basically the Dudleys match. A yeah. tables match. Well, is the well Dudleys oh, match. no, I definitely understand that. You know, but that, but that's what I'm saying. That it's, it's tough to call when you know the Nasty Boys have been in their share of matches. You know, they had a uh, Chicago Street fight with the Road Warriors, and and you could you could stick with the Road Warriors. You could stick with anybody. But I'm going to agree with you because the Dudley Boys were the innovators of hardcore. I agree. So, yes, the Dudley Boys are going on to the next round. Yeah. Yep, that was definitely that's Dudley territory. Dudley territory. Yep, yep that's and, uh, 100% true. And Christopher Brown says, it will be nice and bloody if the ring ropes are replaced with barbed wire and Ooh. I'm going Dudley's. Ooh, excellent. Oh, my excellent. goodness. That's excellent. Ooh. Holy cow. Man. Holy cat. Yes. Dullies. Okay, Jaden. Now we're going back to your bracket. Name that match. So we got the Midnight Express against Edge and Christian. Ooh, interesting match. Hmm. Hey, what what? with the wheel? Want to spin? Yes, right. let's give him a spin. Let's go. Spicy spin. Spicy spin. What did it, wow. What did it land on? Let's spin it again. Okay, one more time. One more spin. Good spin. Good spin. Oh, a, tea, a tag team false count. Oh, tag team false this count thing, anywhere this match. This is interesting. Interesting See, match with these I guys. I wasn't with expecting edgy. that. No, me either. I was not expecting that. Wow, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Huh. So for a tag team false count anywhere match, pretty much no rules, no rules. Anything, anything goes. goes. Okay, we got our first oh, vote. It was Edge and Christian. <laughs> wow, Jaden, what do you think of this Edging match? Cr that's our second. Wow, pick. Jeff, he, damn, wow. Man, these guys ain't putting no punches. <laughs> right. It's, well, see, I don't want to make it a clean sweep yet because that's my pick. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna elaborate on why that's my pick. Because, okay. Because you know I'm not gonna knock. The Midnight, the Midnight Express, yes. I'm not going to knock them because they're an extremely good tag team. But no one understands that, well, it's a clean sweep either way because Christopher Brown. Yeah. But, <laughs> but um, what you call it. But either way, no one understands that the chemistry Edge and Christian, Christian have, have. Of course. Of course. They had extreme chemistry. Listen, the TLC they match, were, the listen, they they were the innovators of the ladder match. Them and the Hardy Boys. You know, they did it all. They did it all over the, the professional wrestling. You know, uh, Chris Rick said, uh, um, Min, he said the, the Midnight Man. Express. Um, so who gets it? No, they, if Edge and Christian. And, and look, at uh, Louis Sedano says Midnight Express are legends, but Edge and Christian got this. You know, so it's Edge and Christian. Oh, man. That's awesome. That is very awesome. So it's gonna be so right now. Ooh, can you see this match in the next round, Jaden? Oh man, Fear, Fear money, money against Edge and Christian. Christian. Jesus. I want right. to see what the Dudleys are going against. Oh, we will see. Ooh. Let's see. Let's see how that's gonna go. So, Dad, your turn. Yes, we have Professor Tori Tanaka and Mr. Fuji against. Bruiser Brody and Stan Hansen. Jose G, what's going on, brother? Welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. We appreciate it. Um, Jaden, Tori Tanaka and Mr. Fuji against Bruiser Brody and Stan Hansen. What match can hold them I'm, with this? I'm, I'm calling it, Dad. I'm sorry, but I already got my pick. Okay. I haven't even picked. The we have the situation. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Another wild card. Should we go a wild card or should we pick a real match? What should we do? Because we just got wild cards. So what let's pick a real match. Let's pick a real right, match. Let's do this another spin. Big, good spin. Good spin. Wow. A lumberjack. A, a tag team lumberjack candlestick match. Now, you might ask, what is that uh, match? Pretty much everybody outside of the lumberjacks, whoever you guys decide to be out there, or we can decide who will be out there, whatever. Actually, it can be most of these tag teams. Out there with Kindle sticks attacking each oh, and every you, man. Once you out that once ring, you, that you, ring, beat you gonna stick. get beat with a stick. But here's the kicker: hmm. if any one of them happen to get the Kindle stick, they can use it in the ring. Jaden, who do you pick in this match? I pick 
honestly, I gotta go with Bruiser Brody and Stan Hansen. Like, just look at it. He's Bruiser for a reason. If you give this man a kendo stick, God knows what he's gonna do with that kendo stick. Like, oh my goodness. It, a kendo stick is a very dangerous weapon in the WWE or just in the hardcore industry or just any industry of WWE. Kendo sticks hurt because it's like bamboo and bamboo is kind of hard. So if you hit somebody with that, it's gonna hurt. But, you know, I feel like Stan Hansen and Bruiser Brody will have the upper hand in this match. So, mm -hmm. therefore, that's my pick. That's that's pretty that's pretty impressive because what you say pretty much is all true that Brody is and Stan Hansen pretty much are like it's a team that can't be beat. Right. Exactly. But unfortunately they split up which sucked. You know, but they definitely definitely win this match. Because Bruiser Brody is just one badass dude. He like he he will he will literally Bruiser Brody. he will literally and grab that Kindle stick. He don't care how many people you, are there and the, whoop the bejesus out of you. And it's not no little soft puppy touches. He's he's gonna whoop you. With the oh yeah, stick. no he he gonna he gonna whip your ass. And I heard I heard he doesn't sell if he doesn't no, have to. If no, he doesn't have to. No, so well, that's Brody. You're gonna get that whooped. is Brody. Okay, so we got a few comments. Um, Jeff Robinson said a lot of other teams out there and depends on the match. Road Warriors are in this. Laughing out loud. Of course. But the Road Warriors is in this tournament. But they would come in, in, in pretty much he's saying they would evolve themselves in this match. And then Christopher Brown says, Jay, if Brody or Hansen get a hold of a Kendall stick, you're liable to see that Kendall stick broken over your neck. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He doesn't care. He will kick the living shit out of you. I agree with that. I like absolutely definitely agree. He, that that that's how Bruiser is. Thank you, Chris. And um um so pretty much we giving this to Bruiser Brody oh, yeah. and, and, and Stan. Um, so that's your side, Dad. <sighs> wow. Now this is amazing. Wow, the Dudleys. The Dudleys against Bruiser Brody and Stan Hansen? Wow. Wow. I can't wait to, to talk about that one next Me week. Me too. Jaden, let's go to our next match. But before we go to that, fans, please feel free to share our content all over social media. Bring, up, bring everybody in, your friends, your cousins, hey. your family, everybody in. Let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy this uh, two-year anniversary, especially with a bang with this show. And by the way, after we finish this first part of the tournament, we are also going to give our predictions to the Royal Rumble. Rumble. Okay, so Jaden, let's see what our next match is. We have FTR against the Strike Force. Ooh. Two old school tag teams. Nicholas uh, Quinones, welcome, brother. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate it. Um, Nicholas Quinones is uh, our fellow wrestler that has joined EGCW, Jaden, the uh, company uh, we're going to be doing commentary all for. Right, so all right. we welcome aboard, and we're glad he's, uh, you know, he, he's uh, coming to the company and he's going to make a name for himself coming in that company. It's a new beginning. All right, so FTR and Strike Force, Jaden, who would you pick on this one? FTR pretty much was a team called the Revival in the WWE, as I, you remember. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, but strike, I gotta go. Strike. See, look at that. Lewis says Strike Force. Christopher Brown, Strike Force. See, I that, got Strike Force. My, so that's a clean sweep, then. And the pretty and pretty much what the reason I say, and it's not just it's not just we're picking him picking him because we're old school. No, you gotta see talent when you see it. Tito Santana and Rick Martel were two. Excellent individuals, extraordinary in the ring, and especially as a tag team, they were amazing. That and F, you know, FTR, they're also good, but you gotta give it to old school, old school uh, stamina. You know, oh, Mr. Mark uh, Hendricks, welcome, brother. He said the mere inclusion of the team of Brody and Hanson makes the tournament extra legit, extra entertaining. Nice job, respect. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. That means a lot to us. It does. Okay, Jeff Robinson and Nicholas uh, pick FTR. I picked the Strike Force. Okay, so that's a clean sweep, four to two. So Jaden, put Strike Force on that board. Oh, 
All right, so now we're gonna get to the next match. Now, oh my God, th this is a match right here. Whew. This is a dream match that we're I'm about to announce. That this is generation with generation, family to family, uh -huh. family to family. The Usos, Jimmy and Jay, against Uncles Afa and Sika, the Wild Samoans. Jaden. Please do us the honor of spinning that wheel. All right, good spin. We just got. Okay, we that. just got that. Let's go. Let's move in. Come on, Jay. A Satan structure. Oh, oh my God, you Satan's gotta, you gotta structure. Satan's structure. Joy La Tempa. Welcome, brother. Look at Lewis already gave his his, his gotta, pick already. You gotta tell the people. Okay, Lewis, you gotta hear. The, you gotta hear the stipulation. Satan structure. You have a cage, and then you have a hell in a cell. Extreme rules, barbed wire match. Jaden, everybody's seeing the Wild Samoans. There's no, there's, there's not even no competition. Hey, Joe. Hey, James. Welcome, brother. They all said Wild Samoans. Why would you call this match? <laughs> I'm lost for words right I would, now. I would honestly is... say that the, that, that the Wild Samoans would beat the bejesus out of their nephews. Even if in their this, prime. In this, type of in match, this type of match. I agree. And with the I Wild agree. Samoans in their prime. I agree. Come on. I agree. Though, I these men this. were were vicious. Yes. Uh, Jeff, see, Jeff said it. The Usos are getting school. You know what I'm saying? James Sargent said what match? The Usos against the Wild Samoans in Satan's structure. A cage, a head on a cell on the other side. With the uh, barbed wire and, and weapons rules. and extreme rules, Christopher Brown is actually going with the Usos. I'm going with the Wild Samoans. The Wild Samoans looked dangerous, and they looked like they were some big guys. Nicholas, Nick, wow! So we got Nicholas uh, also that picked uh, the Usos. So how many? Well, we got three to two, but we waited for James Sargent. James Sargent hasn't given his vote yet. Um, because you were the third vote. I was the third vote. Actually, no, I'm lying. Um, the Wild Samoans got... A lot of people picked the Wild Samoans. There was the three. You picked the Wild Samoans. Then so and, did James. Okay, so the Wild Samoans are the winners of this match. Yes. Not taking anything away from the Usos. The Usos are multi-champions. They are, and they're but, good. But if we're talking But prime, we're talking prime, that's and in this type goal. of structure Man, match, that's the Wild Samoans all the way. I'm sorry. Yeah. So we got the Wild Samoans. Yeah, There's some pretty good matches going on. Oh, I'm yeah. looking at these second, these second rounds. These are some good matches going on. Oof, Jay, this, this is intense, man. <laughs> this is really intense. Huh, yep, the Samoans are crafty seasoned veterans. You're absolutely right. And James says, uh, Wild Samoans in their prime, no one can touch them not even the road warriors that I, I get I can I can actually agree with that at that time I definitely agree with that Wow so Jaden what is our next match we got the heart foundation against the British Bulldog Wow and and the crazy thing is that this match actually happened it happened in professional wrestling and it was a very, very interesting match. It was a great match. But did they have the wheel of evolution with them? No. That's what we're here for. So let's see. You give that a good spin. Oop, got that already? That one. Got that one. Okay, come on. Don't play with me no more. Okay. This is interesting. This is a hell in a cell barbed wire match. Now let me explain what this match is. You have a hell in a cell and you have barbed wire completely surrounding the cell. There's no way to get out. So basically, besides the door, other than that, you can't get out. So example, you were to throw someone against the cell, <sighs> that's a whole bunch of barbed wire <clears throat> going onto their body. You decide to <sighs> suplex them out of the ring oh, onto the cell. I wouldn't want that. That's a whole lot of blood. I wouldn't going. want that. A barbed wired hell in a cell. Oof. I wouldn't want that. Me neither. So, Joe says, 
the Hart Foundation. Mm. Yes, James, it was definitely a classic rivalry. This was an excellent rivalry, these two teams. Jada, who would you vote in this match? You've seen the Hart Foundation. I've seen the Hart Foundation, and I've seen a little bit of the British Bulldogs. Hmm. Yep, WCW Terror Dome. Uh, Jeff, Robinson, Jeff Robinson says Hart Foundation were ruthless. They are winning this one. Anvil didn't care if they if they were family. Laughing out loud. <laughs> okay. We have very, very tough, but the type of match, I say the British Bulldogs. Okay. I Christopher agree. Brown is I going with the with British, the British Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Okay. So I that's like three to two. The British Bulldogs. All right. Four to two. James says the, the I see the Bulldogs. Dynamite Kid was crazy. He sure was. Dynamite Kid. Listen, not taking anything away from the Hart Foundation. Hart Foundation, Bret, Hart, Bret the Hitman Hart, the excellence of execution. The man was incredible in the ring. Jim the Anvil Nightheart, the man had extreme power. He was the power of the team. Same thing with the British Bulldogs. You have the British, you have Davy Boy Smith, who was the power of the team, and um, Dynamite Kid, who was the speed of the team. You could tell by but his you name, tell, But you can tell, but the difference was the chemistry was much more with the British Bulldogs. So I'm, we're going to give this to the British Bulldogs, Jaden. Wow, what a match. That is an insane match. And I, I'm not sure if these two teams ever fought before. The British Bulldogs against Strike Force in the next round. Wow. Like, holy cow. Oh, man. That's, that's insane. That's insane. Right. That is February. February. Oh, man. I'm looking at the next match that you got coming up. Oh, there. and I already, know, I, I already got my pick for this one. And it's, it's going to be crazy because, you know, they're going to come up with those picks. Like, oh, man. We have the Legion of Doom against the Rock and Sock Connection. But this isn't complete without this. This is not complete. So... While you do that, I'm going to spin this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we got an Elimination Extreme. Oof. So how does this go exactly? Elimination Chamber. Extreme Rules Match. This is an Elimination Chamber. Okay. Elimination Chamber. So how is this going to work with four people? One chamber, all four men in the ring. Extreme rules, barbed wire match. Barbed wire is the key to all matches. Oof, and look at it. everybody saying that all day. That'll be no question. They got the power, the speed, and they, they could be very ruthless. I agree. It's that all day. But the see, see, it's the Legion of Doom, but I feel like the one who would stand the most fighting chance is Mick Foley. Mm -hmm. Mick Foley is built. Well, well, Christopher Brown says the Rock and Sock connection. I'm going to go with the Legion of Doom. No. You know what? I, I agree with Christopher Brown. I go with the Rock and Sock connection. Because like I said, Mick Foley is built for matches like these. Mick Foley has gotten, he's gotten laid out on thumbtacks. And he got speared through a burning table. Mick Foley can most definitely handle this match. So I go with Mick Foley and the Rock and, Rock and Sock connection. That's my pick. Well, that's a good that 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 that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But I I'm gonna have to go with the fans, Jay. Like this is yes. Like don't don't get me wrong. Yes, Mick Foley did a hell of a job. He did a hell of a job. He was the king of hardcore. He did what he needed to do. But when it comes to the Legion of Doom. Well, this team, this this team has done it all. They've been all over the world. They've had numerous matches. What who is that? The the animal and um. An uh, animal and hawk. Hulk, yeah. Animal and hawk. Look at this com this comment by uh, Mr. Hendricks. He said that's uh, mid late eighties WWF tag team fantasy land. I lived it, but never got Strike Force versus Bulldogs before. Yes, we wanted to see that match. We definitely wanted to see that oh, match. Oh, this hot! Oh, okay. 
So wow. it, 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 it was amazing. Like, we definitely wanted to see that match. But, Jaden, the LOD is going to the next round. And while I got a smile on my face with the LOD, you know why? Because we're going to see next week, we're going to talk about the LOD against the Wild Samoans. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. You want to talk about brutal. That match oh, would be brutal. Wow. Holy cow. We're going to definitely talk about that next week. Okay, but fans, while we continue, again, please feel free to share our content all over social media. Bring your friends, your cousins, everybody with you. We love talking wrestling. We love the, having you guys with the fans. Again, we're celebrating our two-year anniversary special today. See, look at that. Even James Sarge already said it. Bloodbath. Bloodbath. Blood, 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 Bloodbath. Yes. Look at that. Even uh, Jeff Robinson says, hell yeah, that's going to be a slobber knocker. Laughing out loud. <laughs> Jaden, what do you think of this tournament so far? This is a... Wow. This, this, what this tournament is a wow tournament. This is a crazy tournament going on over here. These are some really great matches. And these brackets over here, the brackets that we're filling going down the line, mm -hmm. got some good matches. Going yeah, on. it's going on. And, you, and even in bracket two, too. Uh, uh, Alvin, thank you, sir. Brackets, thank you, thank you. That's what I'm saying. In both brackets, as yeah. we're going down, it's, these oh, are coming man. These good are matches. These are coming good matches. These are good, good, good matches. matches. So. Um, thank you, James. We appreciate it. Yes, two-year anniversary. We're happy to have pleased our fans for these past two years, and we're gonna gonna continue. And we got some amazing matches. We got some amazing uh, topics coming up that you, you're gonna be shocked when we come up with them. And you're gonna be like, oh. <laughs> All right, Jaden. Name our next match. We got Team Extreme, the Hardy Boys Ooh. against the Steiner. Boys. Wow. Da -da -da. That's an interesting match. Hey, Jaden. I gotta give this one a Let's good see one. what you got. This is for the heart. Yeah, good one. Oh, a hardcore inferno. Wow, oh. Jaden. Let's tell. Why don't you tell them how that works? Mm. Wow. Okay. Okay. He's he's close. I, he's um, close. See, look. I didn't come up with. So this, I didn't it's come so up with brutal. This, I didn't it's come so up brutal. with this match. Okay, so, I will explain this match because I came up with the match. I Pretty no much, idea. it would be fire around the entire ring, weapons all over the ring, all around the ring. How is that gonna work? Though, how are they gonna get out to get the? Weapons? Oh, trust me, they these are the Hardy Boys you're talking <laughs> about, son. You forget that these guys come from t from ladders and tables and chairs, <laughs> and the Steiner brothers are just freaks like them. So, like, say, say for example. They want to put a table on fire. Thank you, Kevin. Welcome, brother. It's been a hot minute. Thank you. Uh, so like, your godfather's here. So, like, say, for example, they want to light a table on fire. Do they yes. just have to lean the table towards the inferno to light the table on fire? Yes. And, and just put it out there. Remember, so whichever hard. team gets burnt first loses that the match. Is, uh, and you know the Hardys take those chances. So, here we, we got some votes so far. We got the Steiners. We got the Hardys. Hardys twice. Um, James says uh, Steiner Brothers pull out a full arsenal of wrestling moves. The Hardys are risk takers, but the Steiners outpower them. They'll outpower them, but this isn't a match about power. Okay, Kevin, what you, you say the Hardys do more stunts, but the Steiner Brothers more build. That's true. But That's I go with I go with the Hardys because like I already got in my image. I can either see Matt or Jeff hitting a twist of fate off of a ladder into a burning table. Okay, That's so. Right. I go with the Hardys. Okay, so right now we have three to three. This is intense, so I think I'm the deciding factor. You're the tiebreaker. Okay, let me read this comment by uh, Joe Latamba. So it's true what you said uh, to the Hardys could go out and get weapons from once they bring it in. The, the smartness of the Steiner brothers will easily pull it off and will use it against them. Very strong and powerful. Steiner, uh, Scott Steiner is going to toss them into the fire by himself. <laughs> Uh, Joel Atapa says Steiner's win for this one. Okay, so we actually got a deciding. They, we got the deciding vote. It's the Steiner brothers. What are the Hardys doing? I'm gonna give my opinion on this. The Hardy Boys are by far one of the most extreme teams I've ever seen. High flying, but an excellent tag team. The Steiner brothers are beyond a team that. You, you can call the best. Right. They've won titles all over the world. Absolutely. They've wrestled on ECW. They've done what they needed to do. And that's why I give it to the Steiner brothers as well. Because they knew, they took on the Legion of Doom 
and actually took him out. So you got the Steiner brothers. Ah. Oof. This is getting intense. This is getting intense. Oh man, that's crazy, Jay. Very this crazy. is getting very crazy. I, 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 I got, I, I got to take a drink of my, of my wawa, my water. You know, this is getting intense, man. But uh, Jaden, keep telling him about the about our tournament, man. This is, you know, a great tournament for those who are just coming. We're having a tag team tournament with. Listen, listen. The real if, if, if you're gonna if you're gonna say introduce introduct this, do it the right way, okay? Thirty-two team, sixty-four men. With what, Jaden? The wheel of evolution. Oh, so nice. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> uh, Mark says another team matchup that particularly caught my eye in your build up tournament that's badass Steiner Brothers in their main non WWF run were the very best, stiffest too, if they felt like it. Yes, and that's why the Steiner Brothers advanced. To the next round in this tournament. See, we got some good teams in here, Jay. We do. You know, we got a holy uh, guacamole. James Sargent said, take notes. Lucas today was laughing my ass off. All right, Jaden, let's go to the next tag team. We have Demolition against Harlem Heat. Interesting match. Very interesting. But let's see how even more interesting will be with the wheel. Dun, 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 dun. What do we get? A last, last man standing, standing match. Okay, now you know how this works. Just like in a singles tag right. team, you you get knocked out. You're ten yeah, of one, ten, five, ten. <laughs> you know you yeah. you're out. But the that, same thing. But you had. But this time, both opponents have to be knocked out completely. Last man standing. No rules. So then, Anything what if goes. one of the teammates are up? Does like one of them get eliminated, and then what happens? One that? of them gets eliminated, and the other actually no. So both like, no, both superstars have to be down at the same time. So okay, but say for example, what happens if one was to be down and the other one was still up at the count of ten? What would happen? Then they both get up, or we can do an elimination. That'd be best. Last better. man standing elimination match, which means. This whoever be down two to one will be really uh, messed up. <laughs> Sir, honestly, yeah, you'll be okay. Yeah. So we got a, we got uh, we got demolition and we got Harlem Heat one to one. I take demolition. Mm, okay, yeah, wait a minute. Christopher Brown says, and Lewis, if you get another wild card, I've got another uh, yeah, match. Yeah, if we plan. get another, if we okay. get a wild card, I have a match. Okay. James says Harlem Heat were, were more published tag team. Demolition could not keep up with the pace of the Harlem Heat, so he's going with Harlem Heat. We got another Harlem Heat. And another demolition, Jaden. Who was your pick? Demolition. Okay, so now we have uh, we have three to three. So I'm going to give my pick on this one. Okay. Um, I would have to say demolition, and for the reason that because yes, Harlem Heat was great. You know Booker T, Stevie Ray, those guys. They, they did it up in the ring. They were, they were, you know, they were good. But oh, wait a minute! Nah, well, they didn't win yet. Harlem Heat, Harlem so Heat. So Harlem won. Heat, wow! Harlem that's Heat. that's a wild card. That's a catch up. Wow! Ooh, that was a big catch up. So Harlem Heat takes this match. That's interesting. Okay. Wow. Oh, with the see, okay, Mr. Fuji with the salt. <laughs> well, we it's too late. Heart of Heat got the win. Wow, wow, that's crazy. Wow, hey, what what better team to face the Legion of Doom? Actually, I'm so sorry, not the Legion of Doom. Not see, I'm, I'm bugging, not no, yet. No. no, they got they got the next the next uh focus, the next team. Focus. I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm so excited, <laughs> and I just can't hide it. So excited. Harlem Heat, Harlem Heat, Harlem Heat. Okay, so we got Harlem Heat going into the next round. Let's see which tag team they are going to face. I like that next match after that. Okay. One. Oh yeah. So Jaden, let's name your tag team match. We have the Gorillas of Destiny, Destiny against the Samoan SWAT, SWAT team. team. Wow, the Samoan I SWAT heard team. The Samoan SWAT team was a very dangerous Listen, tag team. Listen, bo both teams. Both teams were two dangerous tag teams and still are. 
the Gorillas of Destruction are still are. I can already tell but my Jayden, name. How even more destructive is it gonna be with the week? We'll see. Oh, we just did that one. Okay. Uh, we did that one too. Come on, we gotta stop playing. Come on. We did that one. Okay, let me see if I get some luck in here. Not much. I'm sorry, fans. I'm sorry. This is disappointing. This, <laughs> this is, is disappointing. disappointing. <laughs> Why don't we just start erasing the stipulations we already did? Yes. Well, pretty much we used all the stipulations. So now we should so just go to the wild card. We're game. gonna go to the wild card. So this is your opportunity, everyone. Everyone watching right now, this is your opportunity to give your input, your stipulation on this match: the Gorillas of Destiny against the Samoan SWAT team. You fans get to choose the stipulation. Give us a stipulation. A stipulation. Actually, right. Christopher Brown had a wild card match. I have one, too. Let's hear this wild card match. I want to so see, we I got, see if mine's So we got two picks already, though. Kevin uh, picks the Samoans, and Mark uh, picks the Samoan SWAT team. But what stipulation would it be? I want to see if mine's can top his, or if his can top mine. Uh, James says a Pujambi prison match. That would be interesting. Yeah, but it's kind of, eh. So you pick a pool. Uh, Jeff Robinson, I'm sorry, I, I forgot yours. You can actually announce it here on the show. Uh, Christopher Brown says, "What I have in mind is a first blood match. First guy to bleed, his team has to retire." Wow. See, I have a TLC barbed wire thumbtack match, where there's barbed wire tables, barbed wire ladders, and barbed wire chairs with thumbtacks stuck to them. So Ooh. if you get hit over the head with a chair, yes, any one, mark, any, you're gonna have one bloody head. any stipulation. So I pick a TLC barbed wire thumbtack match. Oof. That's my. That's mine. Okay, we got that one there. That. Mine would be a three cage match. A three cage match. That is the doomsday cage, one on top of another. <clears throat> with that weapons would, all around that would the be arena. Dangerous. Pretty much the Samoan SWAT team won this. But uh, Nicholas says three stages of hell. Extreme rules match, extreme steel cage match, extreme ladder steel cage match. With the GOD taking it. Wow. Okay. Um, oh, this one is good. This one is good. Texas Tornado Dog Collar Barb Wire Match. Yeah, I'm going to take that one right there. Who do you got, though, Jeff? No, but it's just... It, it, no, it, it, the Samoan SWAT team won the match. But I, I, I want to see who you got in this game. I want to pick, pick, you I got, pick Jeff. them anyway. I picked the Samoan SWAT team, too. Yeah, no. I, 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 I want to see who Jeff G, has. G.O.D. is a hell of a team. But the Samoan SWAT team is, is just... I'm sorry. They're good? <clears throat> just... You but Jeff, give us your pick. I, I, we just want to hear your pick. I just want to hear your pick. I feel like this is going to be an interesting pick. Oh, man. Well, Christopher Brown definitely picked the Samoan SWAT team. Old school WWF blue cage so they can all do their flying superfly splashes and bleed. <laughs> okay. But let's go on. The Samoan SWAT team is your winner. So, Jaden... We're actually going to use this wheel again. We're going to start using these stipulations because now we're going to use the stipulations for different tag team matches. Okay. Because you'll see the perspective in these tag team matches. Okay. The next match. Oh, man. Oof. This one is a slobber knocker. Yeah. You have The Outsiders, Kevin. Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. Against the Brothers of Destruction, Kane and The Undertaker. Well, which Kane are we... I mean, which Undertaker and Kane are we talking? I would have to say The American Badass. And which Kane? Like, Full Mask Kane? Full Mask Kane. I agree. The original The Kane. original Kane, yes. That would be a great match. Jeff says SWAT team. Those dudes were brutal. <laughs> but now with this one. Let's see what the wheels have. Uh, 
Elimination Chamber. I can't see that. Anymore. Extreme Rules Inferno Match. Oh, okay. <laughs> see, that's why we need the wheel because we're oh, now now with the wheel, we're gonna spice it up, adding stipulations with the stipulations mm. that we already have. Wait, wait, wait. You said Inferno. Yes, well, we got three already for the Brothers of Destruction. Me too. But yeah. wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me add on to that. Let me go ahead, go ahead. You said um, Extreme Rules. Extreme Rules. Elimination, rule, Elimination Chamber. Chamber. Extreme Rules. Inferno Match. Barbed Wire. <sighs> Inferno Match. Oh, brutal. The, the, the Brothers of Destruction would destroy them. They would destroy them the completely. Destruction. The Brothers destroy, com of Destruction. Yes. They're it, called it, the Brothers of Destruction for yes, a reason. Yes, yes. No, it, it would be it would be. Kane done. and Undertaker. Kane, other than that. Undertaker's the only guy I know. That got struck by lightning and digged his hand. He digged himself out of a buried alive match when he got buried alive. Yes. He's the only man I've seen do that. Exactly. Those guys are meant for this match. This was their match. So, the Brothers of Destruction <clears throat> advance into the next round. That means they will face Harlem Heat. Hmm. Interesting, odd match. Wow. Okay, Jaden. Let's go to our next match. But before we do, gentlemen and everyone, ladies and gentlemen, please feel free to share our content all over social media. Bring everyone in, your friends, your cousins, your family, whoever you want to bring everyone. them in. And share it. We love it. We like it. And we're going to do it. <laughs> and uh, bring them in for our two-year anniversary special. We're excited. Uh, thank you again, fans, for always supporting us. So, Jaden, let's get to our next match. Let's do it. We have... The Young Bucks against the Briscoes. Wow. The Briscoes from Ring of Honor against the Young Bucks from AEW. I'm going to lay back on this one. I'm going to let the fans decide. Well, you got to decide the wheel, We can son. decide the wheel, but they oh. can decide the winner of the match. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get that going. What you got? What you got? A TLC uh, or a tag team dog collar? Uh huh. Hmm, a tag team dog collar. A tag, a tag team. A tag team bar. dog. No, no, no. A tag team dog collar match. Extreme rules. Mm, I was gonna say a tag team barbed wire TLC dog collar match. I like that. So, uh, say it again. A uh, tag team, team TLC dog collar barbed wire match. Okay. Okay, we got Jeff Robinson says, I'm going with the Briscoes. Chris says, I'm going with the Briscoes. It's about to be another um, Kevin says, I'm confused. I say the Young Bucks. No. <laughs> eh, wrong. Um, Jeff says, the wannabe Hardys don't have it in them. Laughing out loud. Or no. The that's, the, that's what they call the Young Bucks. The Young Bucks. Isn't that like this generation? The Young yes. Bucks. Yes, we've they, seen them in AEW. They, that's what they remind me of. Uh, Nicholas Ke Nicholas Quinone says they have they have had amazing matches together, but I've say the Briscoes, and they are way more ruthless. So Mark says the Briscoe. It's the Briscoes. That's a clean sweep. The Briscoes going to the next round. Oh man, this this tournament is looking it's looking sharp, man. All right, fans. Now we're gonna get to. The next match on my bracket side over here. The Freebirds against the New Day. But who's going to be in this match? Because remember, it's Freebird rules. Um, who are you going to add it to this match? I don't know. Who's for me, Freebirds. for the Freebirds, I would put Michael Hayes and Terry Bam Bam Gordy. For me, I would put Xavier Woods and Big E. Excellent match. I would put those two. So... Michael Hayes and Terry Bam Bam Gordy against Big E and Xavier Woods in which match? Excuse me, sir. Whew. Hardcore Inferno barbed wire wrapped around the ropes match. So a rope, a barbed wire rope. So which means they're going to have a lot of difficulty getting out that ring. Even if it catches you on fire, it catches you on fire, you're going to get that barbed wire and you're going to bleed as well. You're going to bleed and you're going to be on fire. That's, that's brutal. That's going to hurt. That's brutal. Very brutal. Jaden, who was your pick on this one? I got to go with the Freebirds. 
Okay. We, well, we got two already. Uh, Lewis and uh, Jeff picked the Freebirds. That's three then, because I picked the free. That's three, and Nicholas picked the end. That was Score. quick. That that's was quick. Sweet. Wow. Oh wait, that's not. But see, time. but 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 before we before we even write this down, let me not taking anything away from the new day. The new day came into the WWE that n pretty much everybody hate them. They didn't like. They didn't care for them at all. Mm -mm. And when it came to something like that, they didn't think they were gonna make it until. They finally started getting that push and started getting the fans to hate them. And that's what made them even better. And then they finally did what they did. They were the host of WrestleMania. They inducted the Freebirds in the Hall of Fame. But and then the New Day got the fame. They started getting cheered. By exactly. The fans. And then Kofi won the title. He made his dreams. But the Freebirds are the Freebirds. They're yeah, the Freebirds. They from Backstreet. They had the the, the most deep rivalry with the Von Erics. These guys can kick anybody's asses no matter which place they go to. So I'm going with the Freebirds and that's why we're putting the Freebirds. So Freebirds. we are now, wait, we are now coming down to our final, final. matches. Yep. Our final, our final two, two matches. matches. Final two matches. Sorry, I can't write here. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Nice to eat. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jaden. Let's go to your final match. We got the Brain Busters against Money Incorporated. That is Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard against IRS and the Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man. Senior. So, guys, let's pick this one. Jaden, do the honor. Here we go. Here we go. Spin that wheel. Let's go. No, 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 no. That was a weak spin. There we go. Okay, okay. Oh, a wild card. Okay, okay. A wild card pick, guys. Let's see. Well, we got see, the... I want to see what everybody else has to say. <laughs> Kevin said, I need Brian's help. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, we got the Brain Busters by Nicholas. So, uh, but what type of match will we put this, Jaden? I have a match that these guys could fight. On here. I would put a ladder, a steel cage, TLC Extreme Rules match. A, a steel cage? Steel How cage. How in the world would that work? A steel cage, the big cage, with a ladder inside, all the ladders surrounded inside the cage. All the weapons inside the cage. Extreme rules match. Whoever goes up to the top to get the suitcase, whatever's in there, the money of Million Dollar Man. Actually, that could be a stipulation added to it. The money of $10,000 from the Million Dollar so, Man up in that ladder. Is it a cage or a hell in a cell? It would be a cage. So say, for example, if someone was to climb the cage and get thrown out of the cage, would they have to climb back they in? They sure do to get that belt, to get that suitcase of $10,000. That would be a tiring... <laughs> And a really brutal match. Look at this uh the stipulation. Lewis said I would say scaffold inside a steel, steel cage. cage. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. But I like my idea. I like both ideas. Okay. But we're gonna use mine. So guys, who's your pick? We got two with the brain busters. Jay, what are you picking this one? I gotta go with the brain busters. Why? I don't know. I feel like the Brain Busters, if this was this type of match, I feel like they'll have, I don't know, I just feel like they'll have the upper hand with one of these type of matches. I've seen Money Inc. I've seen Money Inc. fight, I think, a few times. I've seen Ted DiBiase fight a few times. Okay. But I still feel like Brain Busters will have the upper hand. Okay. He actually has a point here, uh, Mr. Hendricks. I should have thought about this myself. All four of these guys were workers and technicians. Maybe straight up Iron Man match. A tag team Iron Man match. Excellent stipulation. Four excellent tag teams. Uh, four excellent uh, talent. Two great tag teams. But I'm still going to go with the Brain Busters. Even in an Iron Man match, I'm going to go with the Brain Busters because Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard were phenoms in the Four Horsemen. With Ric Flair and Barry Windham. These men 
took over professional wrestling. They did. They came to the <clears throat> WWE, won the tag team titles also. They went back to WCW. Arn Anderson and the Four Horsemen was just amazing. So we're going to give it to the Brain Busters, son. So we had the final match going into the next round. The Brain Busters against the Briscoes from Ring of Honor. Good small writing, Jay. Thank you. <laughs> this is difficult. I know, I know, I know. All right, so we got our next. So, so we have our bracket one next round match. We have Beer Money against Edge and Christian, Strike Force against the British Bulldogs, the Steiner Brothers against the Samoan SWAT team, and the Briscoes against the Brain Busters. Now, we're going to announce something at the end of this tournament that's going to, we're going to stir the pot a little bit. So. Our final match of bracket two, the Colossal Connection against Doom. Wow. This is tough to call, but let's see what the wheels say. <laughs> a Hell in a Cell barbed wire. wire match. Hell in a Cell barbed wire, extreme rules. Last man standing. I don't think anyone's going to stand <laughs> after the match. I don't think hey. anyone's going to be standing. Hey, hell in a cell. I don't cell. think anyone's going to stand. Barbed wire extreme rules. Last man standing I don't match. think anyone's going to be standing after that match. Yes, Jeff, it is a tough one. It definitely is a tough one. Everyone's gonna leave. gonna be brutal, but I gotta go with the connection. Everyone's okay. Everyone's gonna leave in a stretcher. No <laughs> one's gonna stand. Well, we got two to two, two two for the for the doom and two for a colossal connection. Jaden, wow, this match. Mm. Like you have Andre the Giant and Haku. Haku is a is a legit badass, and Andre the Giant was just Andre the Giant. That kid, that man would just he was. Got the boom. He was you know? a giant. <laughs> giant. But Doom, Ron Simmons, and Butch Reed, they were also good too. I gotta go with I'm gonna go with Doom. Okay, so we got uh Colossal Connection and Doom. So we got uh we have um a tie. I'm the deciding vote. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh no, wait a minute. We got Doom. But it's still going to be tied. So we're going to need one more vote. Because I was going with the Colossal Connection. Colossal Connection, yes. Doom, uh, Ron Simmons and Butch Reed were amazing. But Andre the Giant is a phenom. He's a legend. And Haku is just a legit badass. But you got to see that they have the upper hand. Because they're probably faster than Andre the Giant. Well, that's they true. That's, that's true. Fast. That is so true. So say, for example, if Haku was to get knocked down. And Andre the Giant was all alone. He'll have to muscle In this out. type of match, yes. So yeah, that's why I'm saying, if it was like a regular schedule for one for or a regular, you know, like extreme rules, then. Can you, Kevin <laughs> said, Brian called me and said Doom. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go with Doom. Doom got the upper hand. Doom is going to the next round. But this would have been a brutal match. <laughs> You're a clown, Kev. Oh man! So Jaden, <laughs> we have finished the first part of the thirty-two team, sixty-four man interpromotional tag team title tournament. Jaden, I'm being honest. Second rack is my favorite. Well, we we second rack is my favorite. We need to uh, we need to see uh. Who's going to face who into the next round? And that is 100% true. You know, because it, it, who would have thought these these matches would ever take place? Like, I, you, you, you see these matches and you become to think of what's going to happen when it comes to something like this, you know? So, Jaden, let's see who is in this bracket too. You got the Dudley Boys. Against Bruiser Brody and Stan Hansen. The Wild Samoans against the Legion of Doom. Harlem Heat against the Brothers of Destruction. And the Freebirds against Doom. Doom. 
Now, here's the kicker, wrestling fans. This is what I want you to do. Whoever's out there, I want you to message me on Evolution of Pro Wrestling and give us your stipulations of what you want us to use. We will look at it and we will vote which new stipulations to put on the wheel of Evolution. Fans, we appreciate you coming on. We appreciate you supporting us with our two-year anniversary. Like I said earlier, we, we made it. We made it. <coughs> we made it. But we're not done yet. We're not. You know why? Because we are giving our predictions to the 2001 Royal Rumble. 2021. 2001 Royal Rumble was good. But this is 21. 21. Yes, son. I'm sorry. My mistake. My mistake. Let's get to it. Let's do it. Tag Team Championship match, Asuka and Charlotte Flair against Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax. Who is your pick, Jay? Shayna Baszler and Nia, especially Shayna Baszler, that is a scary person. So, yeah. I'm going I'm going with Charlotte Flair and Asuka. Okay. Charlotte Flair and Asuka. What are you guys going for? Kevin says Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Okay. Okay. Well, we got that picks. You know, guys, uh, you give us your picks. Next match. Let's see here. You have Roman Reigns against Kevin Owens in a last man standing match. I got to go with the Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns. Me too. But don't be surprised if Kevin... Luke wins this match. And I'm going to say, and I'm going to give you a reason behind that in a minute. But I'm going to go with Roman Reigns. So, um, Nicholas says uh, Shayna and, and uh, Nia. Christopher Brown says Nia, Oscar and Charlotte are going to retain. Nia, ba uh, Nia and Baze are going to implode and begin a feud, each other, a feud with each other. Yes, that would be amazing. Um, and Jeff says uh, Sh Shayna and Nia too. Wow. I'm, I'm going with Charlotte and Oscar. Uh, Kevin says Roman Reigns. Yep, we all got Roman Reigns. But we, like I said, I'm going to explain that later. Uh, Christopher Brown says Roman retains. Okay, we shall see. Uh, we says uh, hopefully Oscar and Charlotte. Nicholas says I say always, but I see Reigns taking it. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to put a scenario in there in a minute. A little scenario. Drew McIntyre against Goldberg. I'm sorry. Drew I'm McIntyre. sorry to say against Goldberg. Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre against Goldberg. Drew McIntyre. That's my Drew favorite. McIntyre all the way. I'm sorry. Goldberg, you were the man before. But Great Hall of Famer. But your time so is up. Anymore. I'm sorry. Your time yeah. is up. It's time to retire. I don't know why they Taker did it, and he was a legend in this ring. And I'm sorry. And yes, it better be it better be it better him. Be Drew. Right. It better be Drew. Because that's this is this is where the scenarios come in. And I'm gonna tell you soon. Uh, Brian, uh, look at it. Kevin says uh, Goldberg or OG. Stop it. I feel like I already know what your scenario is, but I want to hear it. And Nicholas, Nicholas says uh, McIntyre. I'm going with you, McIntyre. Okay. Now we're going into the women's Royal Rumble. I'm going with Bianca Blair. I don't really know who's in the Rumble. I haven't really been keeping. Up. Well, the normal Natalia. You got yeah, I get uh, the normal. Hmm. You got Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax, Charlotte Flair, about, Oscar, heard, all, all of them. About Bianca. Okay. Yeah. I'm going with Bianca. I'm going to go. I'll agree. I'll agree with that. Okay. I'll go with that. We got Bianca. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let us know. Um, a lot of names are not listed. Kevin said the man. The man. I wouldn't Becky be surprised. Lynch. I wouldn't be surprised if she makes an appearance on there. Uh, Chris says, I'm going to say Goldberg and let me know, let me tell you why. Vince is high on the, on Riddle. And I can see him using Bill as a bridge to get the belt on Riddle that way. McIntyre losing to Goldberg than Riddle would make him look weak. Possibly. Yes, that is a possibility. That would be a Because if, I don't know if you heard, Matt Riddle and Goldberg have a legit beef mm. because Riddle called him out. He called him out, told him it's time to retire. Let the new generation take over. It's true, though. You know? Yeah, I, I can see where Matt Riddle's coming And look, Christopher Brown says a returning Becky Lynch winning the Rumble. I can see that happening. That would be nice. I can definitely see that happening. Oh, see, Nicholas uh, says Ripley. R uh, Rhea Ripley. 
I can also see that too. Hey, I won't be surprised if uh, Bailey maybe wins. I'd be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. He said, my girl from NXT, she lost to Charlotte at Mania last year, but thinks she will be going to the main roster. Yep. She's she's an excellent superstar, Ray Ripley. I don't know, man. Like I, it, it, Now it's tough to call. You got, uh, I won't be surprised if Becky Lynch shows the up. Man, yeah. I but, but, I won't be surprised either if Ronda Rousey shows up. So, she so we don't she know. So to I'm going to go with the man if she does show up. If, if not, Ronda, I got Bianca Blair. If not, then if Ronda Rousey shows up, Ronda Rousey is my new pick. Yeah. If she shows up into the Rumble. All right. Now, with the men's Royal Rumble, who's your pick? You know, the normal. Hmm. Honestly, I don't. I'm a guy, I got to stay mutual. This one. <laughs> I, I can't because okay. I can't really say. Okay, so here's my scenario with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns loses the title to Kevin Owens. Okay. Goldberg possibly wins the title if Vince McMahon is thinking this. And then Roman Reigns it comes out and wins the Royal Rumble and challenges Goldberg for the Universal title. For the WWE title, I'm sorry. Or you wait, wait. I got a question. Mm -hmm. When you win the Royal Rumble, do you have an opportunity to get a title shot, or do you have to take a title? No, shot? you have the opportunity so, to take okay. a title shot. So okay. So is Bobby Lashley in the Royal Rumble? Yes. I want him to win, and I want him to challenge Brock Lesnar. But Brock Lesnar's not the champion. But I would like to see well, that. That, match that means happen. that Brock Lesnar would have to come. Okay, we could see the match. We could see the that match. doesn't mean Bobby Lashley got to win the Royal Rumble. I want to see. I want him to win either. Now way. here's my. I want up, him no, to win either. Way. Okay. So, Bobby Lashley is my pick. Okay, I want Bobby Lashley okay. to win. So here, here is my other point of Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns retains the title. Edge wins the Royal Rumble and challenges Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Spear versus Spear. Which one is the better one? Well, I would have chose Edge because Edge. Real, wow, this 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 was a bold statement. Christopher Brown says I'm going to say John Cena wins it and challenges Roman to go for 17. Won't be surprised if the wow. doctor of Thugonomics. That's a bold Rumble. statement. Like, That's interesting. From WrestleMania, I wouldn't be surprised if they make the doctor of Thugonomics return. I would wow. like that. <laughs> oh, Brian, uh, Kevin says my daughter said Bella Twins win the the women's Royal Rumble. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them come back and win. Nikki Bella, maybe. Um, Jeff says I think it will come down to Edge and Orton, and the Fiend returns and causes Orton to lose the Rumble. Interesting. That is very. That's nice. very interesting. That could happen. It could. That could happen. Most definitely. Wow. Could. So that that pretty much uh, sums up the the Royal Rumble pick, the Royal Rumble predictions. But we're very excited for the Royal Rumble. But you know what's even more exciting, Jaden? Mm -hmm. Next week's part two of the Evolution of Pro Wrestling 32-team, 64-man interpromotional tag team title tournament. Now, here was I was going to announce. Next week, we will not use the Wheel of Evolution. We are going to go by the matches of the similarity of the wrestlers the technique of the wrestlers like say we have the uh legion of doom and the wild, wild samoans that match you can probably put in a head on the cell or an elimination chamber or in a ladder match or steel cage match, steel cage match falls count anywhere but say you have the um strike force and the british bulldogs that can be an iron man match or TLC match. That could match. be a false count anywhere. Too. A false count that anywhere could be a false match. Count anywhere too. You know, so that would that you the fans are gonna decide what the stipulations will be for these matches. So that's why we say message us on Evolution of Pro Wrestling, and we will write down your stipulation, and we will pretty much look at it carefully and start planning for the show part two. Wrestling fans, thank you for joining us. We appreciate all your support within these two years, and we can't thank you enough for the support. We yep. Like we've came, we've come a long way from a the first time way. we started. You know, my yeah. son had a little mini voice. Yeah, 
but he now he sounds like a man. He's a grown child. Out he's, of my my part, he's my partner. We do a great job. You even do. though sometimes I want to throw him in the show because he doesn't agree with me on half the stuff I say. And you don't agree with half the okay, stuff I Okay, but that's say. that's what makes us so impeccable. Exactly. So, um, but thank you fans for watching. Again, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and now TikTok. We put our videos in TikTok as well. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Evolution of Pro Wrestling. And if you have any questions, any topics in mind, shoot us a message and we will take your topic into consideration. And after this tournament, we have another excellent topic coming for you. But we're not going to announce it yet. From myself, Lewis, the Encyclopedia of Pro Wrestling. And Jay, the whiz kid of Pro Wrestling. And thank you, Jeff Robinson. We appreciate it. And also from my lovely wife, producer, and director, Yesenia, that made this all possible for us. Thank you, wrestling fans. We'll see you next week at our normal time, 8.30 sharp, even though it will probably be another hour show, but we're still starting at 8.30. Good night, wrestling fans.